How many Yahoo and AOL deal makers does it take to screw in a light bulb? None. You don't need a light if you're never going to sign a merger agreement. Hello, it's Friday, December 12, 2008. I'm John Paczkowski, and this is Digital Daily. If life is a cement trampoline, then Fairchild Semiconductor just performed one of those flatback landings. It's hand forced by the crumbling economy. Fairchild said today that it is sacking 12% of its workforce, or 1,100 people, in an attempt to reduce expenses and, you know, spread holiday cheer. Fairchild's the latest semiconductor to temper its estimates as demand for the computers and telecommunications gear in which its chips are used contracts. Earlier this week, Texas Instruments, National Semi, and Broadcom all cut their projections because of the lousy market conditions. Alcatel-Lucent, the world's largest maker of telecommunications equipment, won't be quite so large come 2009. This morning, the struggling Franco-American network supplier said it plans to sack 1,000 managers and 5,000 contractors in a bid to bring down costs. This latest swing of the axe brings total job cuts at Alcatel Lucent to about 22,000 since the 2006 merger that created it. And though the company will be leaner and meaner for it, that newfound agility won't count for much without a shift in business strategy. And now for something completely different. The video game industry is booming. Americans brought an astonishing $2.91 billion worth of video game stuff last month. That's a 10% increase over November of 2007. The explanation? Great entertainment and great value, both in demand in troubled times. That's it for Digital Daily. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week.